Hi everyone and thank you for joining me today on this Facebook Live. I am Karen Keener of The Sovereign Mom and today actually is day three of a talk I am doing teaching series on how to heal from the losses of COVID, the covid that's been happening in the world around us and how many of us have had issues with losing friendships and other relationships, romantic and otherwise, over a lot of the public health policies that have been happening. And so I wanted to address some of the wounds and the losses of love and relationships in our lives. And today um, is day three of the 11 day series. So if you want to check out more of this series. I will, I'm going to try to type this in here really quickly. Um, hopefully this is, hold on. <laughs> Making sure this is starting. Why is it not showing up on my page? Where am I live at? <laughs> if I'm not here, where am I? <laughs> Am I on the wrong account? Maybe I am. Maybe that's the issue. I thought I was in the right account. We'll see in just a second. Um, so anyway, today is part of this series um, on healing this. Let me make sure I'm public. Okay. On healing the division that has happened and today is called cheating your way to enduring relationships and the reason why I chose that title is because we live in a world of a bunch of rules about how things should be how we should handle ourselves handle our lives and um <clears throat> and how family must always come first and blood is thicker than water. And we hear all of these things about family and about relationships that we're afraid to break the rules. And especially in certain cultures, it's much more um, pushed on to society than others, the shame of not uh, living up to the expectations of your family and your culture to put your family first in all things. And what if your family is terrible or abusive or toxic? And so what I found in my own life, and I have several friends had, that have found the same and people that I've helped that have found the same, is that this whole, there's a lot of trauma that we carry because we tried to live up to these standards. We tried to follow the rules of the game of life and the game of society, where they said that we we're supposed to put all these other people first and they made us miserable and unhappy and just, it's not working out for us. <clears throat> so today I wanted to come live, come on live to talk about why we need to throw out some of those rules. We need to break those rules or cheat and make up our own rules to change the paradigm of how we've been doing things to one in which we get to choose for ourselves. Dang it. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with why I can't see the live on my feed. Um, <clears throat> is the live only in the event? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Oh, it is. It's on the event. Okay. I'm going to share this then to my page and <laughs> share to feed. There we go. All right. Hopefully it's playing and you don't have to click on it and that people can see this live, not just if they clicked on the event only. Um, okay. So I wanted to talk about how we make, how we get out of this. Part of it is is living up to the expectations of others and in our society and to have all these heavy rules on us. But what if we do all that? What if we want to get respect from society that we live in and from the family that we live in? And so we comply with the rules of the game, which say that we need to be respectful and honoring and kowtowing to people that are just toxic and terrible and undermining 
<clears throat> and disturb our natural way of life. So what do you get from those types of relationships? How are they rewarding you? Like when you are in that, are you happy? Are you closer to the relationship that you want to have? Are you closer to the ideal? <clears throat> I don't know why this is still not working. <laughs> I put share to feed and it's not doing what I want it to do. Um, sorry about that. Like it was glitching with the sound. So I decided to use my phone this time and I may have hit the wrong things or the wrong button. And so now it's going live into the actual thing instead of live into onto my playing live on my feet, which I would like it to do. I would like to share this video live. I don't know why it's not happening. <laughs> That's annoying. All right, but hopefully everybody can hear me. Hopefully there's people in here watching. I don't see any, so that's part of the problem. I may end this and start it up again really quickly. Shoot, I didn't wanna really, end, didn't wanna end it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Hang with me here for a second, because this is... <clears throat> no. All right, I don't know what it's doing. Why is it not playing where I want it to? All right. <sighs> It's just doing what it's doing right now. <laughs> anyway, I will just keep going on with this. So if you follow this to the end of what you're doing right now, if you are still being the obedient, submissive wife or child or daughter or son of a toxic person, <clears throat> um, or husband, whatever, of a very toxic person, and it's making you miserable, are you getting the respect that you thought that you would get from society? That's a really good question to think about or to ponder when considering if you're doing it with the aim of having some kind of social societal respect, how much is it actually getting you? And what do you have to gain? I mean, what do you have to lose by, if, if you're gonna lose respect, what do you have to lose by staying in those types of relationships? So if you continue to be mistreated and undermined and invalidated and it's affecting how you live your life, how is that helping you what are you getting out of that? What is the benefit of that? And it could be a lot of things, you know, it could be, it could be just that feeling like you fit in, feeling like society at least accepts you on some, on some level. But let's say you decided to change that and you decided to sh switch up your paradigm so that now you are going to, <clears throat> release this relationship what like what would you lose for not releasing the relationship boy i'm <laughs> all kind of out of sorts today <clears throat> what would you lose by not releasing the relationship and so i think there's a lot of different little parts of this same question that you can come at it from different angles and then you want to write down the, the answers to these questions for yourself because I can't decide for you what the best is for you, but I can help you by asking these questions and getting you to think about it to consider what choices you might make that might be better for you if you weigh out your options and you really truly consider what you can earn, win, gain from the way you are playing the game of life. So, if you break the rules, what happens? Do you lose all your relationships? Do you end up with nobody? Do you end up on your own? 
Well, I'm here to say that no, <laughs> that does not happen. And how do I know? Because I ditched them all. I have no one in my birth family that I still have as friends or companions or even acquaintances at this point. Um, as of this year, the very last family member I still kept in touch with and I are no longer keeping in touch. And part of that was due to COVID. So I can relate to what's going on now. However, and this is the real cheating, I don't believe that family is only your blood. I believe you can choose your own family. They say you can't pick your family. I, I think you can. And if they say you can't, just do it anyway. And that's how we're breaking the rules today because when you start to release this idea that you have to live according to this certain specific value set and you have to play the game by their rules and do things the way they want you to do things they want, <laughs> it's society's rules, you know, and it doesn't work for everyone. It works for people that have really loving, wonderful parents or really nice relationships with people that share all the same values. How many people actually, though, have that? Very few. And so this is why it's not working. And this is why we have to make our own rules and make our own family. And in so doing, personally, I have thousands of friends now. I have thousands of friends that are like family, that are family to me. I call them sister, like Raylene just popped up here. I call her sister. I, I think of these people as my family. Why? Because they're as close or closer than anyone that was in the people that I was born to have ever been to me. They are more supportive. They are more loving. They are more nurturing. They offer better advice. They think more like me. We are more family in any way that you can think of family, except for some kind of thing you'd have to see under a microscope. Like some kind of spit in a jar and look at our genetics. And I just don't think that's the way we should be planning things anymore. You know, I mean, if, if going forward, if you are healthy and adjusted and you are in check, keeping yourself in check, then it's fantastic that you start creating better relationships with family, your children and your children's children and how you behave in all of those situations can be a lot better. Um... So we can start to have those kinds of relationships with the family that is born with us that we share, but we're not going to get them by continuing to try to make these people this thing that they are not. You know, we have to, you want unconditional love? Love those people for who they are that are not loving you for who you are. They come to the place of acceptance that they might never be who you want them to be. That's real unconditional love. And in that acceptance saying, it might be time to spend a little less time with you and give you a little less of my attention and a little less of what comes between the ears. Because your mind is your most important asset. And you have to control it and you have to limit it. And where do boundaries come in? It's right here. All of our boundaries are on what we place our attention on, every single one of them. And so I'm always saying, what am I saying no to? Most of the time, most of the time people are talking about boundaries is saying no to other people, but it's really about saying yes to yourself. We're just not saying yes to ourselves enough. <sighs> yes. So if you want to honor your mother, that's a big statement, right? Is it an honor to your mother to live a life of like kowtowing to a toxic, abusive person that makes you miserable and your life is less shiny and bright and wonderful as, as the daughter of this person, as a reflection of this person because of the to toxicity that you tolerate from her? For me, it wasn't. Was not. So I had to rethink how and reevaluate how I wanted to spend my time and spend my energy and share my attention and spend my attention. It's like budgeting. And a lot of 
boundaries is budgeting. It's a lot of boundaries is figuring out what your values are and placing your attention on things that you value and things that you prioritize and your body cues and the, what your vision is for your life going forward, what you really want and dream of. And so having good boundaries is a lot about putting boundaries on ourselves, about where we're going to place our energy and attention to make sure that we are a person, we're living a life that honors that parent. We're being honest. Honor comes from honesty. We're being honest about our relationship with that person that it maybe didn't work out the way that we wanted, but we're living a vibrant, beautiful life. That's a much better way to create a legacy for your parent. Like even <laughs> if you have to walk away from them and you had the strength to do it, that is a much better way to honor them than to sit around being the doormat for them or the whipping post, you know? So it's not about just throwing away your relationships or whatever, but also visioning again, like I said in the first time first episode is that we're visioning what kind of relationships we want and we share that with these people if they are toxic we can share with them like you know this toxicity is not working for me <laughs> sorry <laughs> so when we re come to that re realization of what we want the relationship to look like and we share it with them we give them an opportunity to say yeah you know what I think that would be better for me too I hadn't really envisioned it. I just knew we were just miserable. Or I didn't know you were miserable and now I can work on it. But if we don't share with them what our vision is for a relationship with them, they can't do anything about it. And if you share it with them and they say, no, thank you. Thank you so much for the freedom for me to make another choice with myself and my attention and my time so that I'm not spending it trying to make this relationship into this thing that you don't even want. But I can't live with it the way that it is. And so we're going to have to like go our separate ways if this is the way it is, you know, and this is what you want. This is what I want. And we're just not going in the same direction and bid you farewell as I move forward along my path. Anyway, that's a lot to bring up. I have company here today, so I'm not going to keep you too long. I was kind of going over every day, and I don't want to make these things go over. I do want to offer you the opportunity um, to sign up because I'm going to keep teaching little bits of this stuff every day um, to jump in. Where's discussion? Is there anything on Start discussion. <laughs> Start discussion says create post. I'm going to just add this. The sovereign mom dot, hmm, dot substack dot com. You're going to go to this place. Oh, maybe that's not it. <laughs> I can't see a place to like leave notes or to have a discussion under this event. I guess this was not what I was thinking it was. All right. Hopefully that went under here. Anyway, um, again, this has just been <laughs> something in the setup of this went a little wonky. We'll be able to hopefully get to help you see it in the replay. So homework for today. If you are, have not already subscribed to the sovereignmom.substack.com, it's completely free. But at the end of this 11 days, I'm going to make an offer to people that are making a paid subscription to my Substack. Sorry. Anyway, and <laughs> now you see my OCD right there. Okay. Um, yeah, um, so, and so go to thesovereignmom.substacks.com and subscribe, and you will get updates every day going forward about when these next lives are coming and so that you can get involved and watch them and learn. And um, so do that right away and subscribe. So free subscribers, you'll get updates in your inbox that I'm going live, etc., and on this, 
um, the paid subscribers are going to get a really good deal on a course that's coming up. But for now, it's just I want to offer this free information for people that are suffering, struggling because COVID just happened and it was horrible how many people were just atrociously behaved. And we just don't need to be in relationships with those people anymore. And I'm here to show you as an example that leaving those relationships just opens doors to better relationships, more respect. If you're if the the fear is that I'm going to lose respect for not doing this rule. You get more respect if you walk away and you are more of an authority on relationships when you walk away and have happier, healthier, more supportive, harmonious, loving, and enduring relationships. And that's what I want for all of you. Homework for today. Answer those questions about what you're getting from the relationships you're in what you're not what you're not getting from the relationships you're in what you have to lose by walking away what you have to gain by walking away and what you have to lose by not walking away did i do that one what you have to gain by not walking away <laughs> and start taking note and and prioritize it figure out for yourself what the answer for you is vision and share that vision with your friends and loved ones and see if they also to want to share in your vision or not and allow them the grace and the opportunity to say no if they need to and be great, graceful and grateful in their honesty if they tell you that is not the relationship they are looking for. So because this is an opportunity for you, this is your free will to walk away and do something even better with your time and energy and create much more beautiful relationships. So that's all I have for today. Again, please subscribe to my Substack and you will learn more. And I look forward to talking to you all later. And that is all. Thank you so much. Bye.